Welcome, I'm Daily Fix, and we are continuing Space Engineers, a road to space. Um, I noticed my error in, uh, by the end of the last episode, that these could actually just be connected to each other by this one conveyor belt over here that we still need to be building. But uh, we can now do that uh, quite easily with uh, just one of these tubes that is connected up like so. Uh, I, I probably don't have the uh, materials on me needed. No, there you go. So by going here and then... Was it Alt mouse button? I'm not sure. Um, it used to say add it to Q. But it is a bit wonky. Maybe just... Oh, right mouse button. If we can get right mouse button on our things, we can actually start work on that. As you can see, I was working on our base. So that at least the staircase was working. And I noticed that the power was going to be a bit of an issue. There is just, just a tiny, tiny amount of power left in the base. And that is definitely not what I like. Um, okay, Doing the middle mouse button will get stuff in here and I'm hopefully it is now going to be enough. I should be able to check this and you can see that the building planner has now been emptied. That all said, let's get over there so these uh, refineries can be hooked on to the base. And here we go. It is now green. All of these should start to work and they will drain our power quite quite a bit it is definitely going to be killing uh, the base so do we have base batteries uh, we do they should be now in here so uh, fully recharged in eight hours in four hours five hours uh, that is definitely not what i like to see because it will take a bloody long time for this to actually get started now i did say that i want to go and do a bit of hydrogen and there is an hydrogen engine so if we go here so what i'd say hydrogen tanks are used for storing fuel levels we will need these and the hydrogen engine converts hydrogen into power and has its own internal hydrogen tank so would it be enough and this is just to test it out. Can we just build one of you, like, right against here? It, it's not going to be having its permanent location down there because it, quite frankly, it just it looks horrible. It really do it does. It looks like a an all as engine and well, a massive all as engine. I drive myself a Citroen or Citroen or Citroen. Uh, just just a tiny tiny car and i like it for it so there is two entry points in here one at the back and one at the bottom if we place it down here it would be wrong but if we place it oh damn it always the wrong button huh like this would it work that is my question, and we're going to be uh, figuring that one out. Let's add everything to the building planner. And let's make sure that we at least have power going. Because that power, uh, we, we're going to be needing. But I'm, I'm absolutely horrified by the idea that we don't have everything that we need. And as you can see here, we have some of the materials on here, but not all of them. So if we go here and press add components then things are being added and are you telling me we're low on iron no we're not low on iron but it just doesn't grab from over here which is very weird i can't even put it into assembler so what is up with that Let's do it like this then. I'd say they are not connected through this refinery. So this one refinery has its only connection over there. Oh, wow, that's a lot of gravel. Damn, that's a lot of gravel. 
we need to dump that gravel somewhere uh, rather not drop it in the base that would be horrible so let's get our inventory just a bit more empty and let's get our asses in there and get that gravel out because my god it's been filling this this poor assembler this poor assembler and um, is it now filling up again there we go that's what i like to see means we don't have to go like this we can just drop in and drop out let's let's get all of this in here so we def we, we we definitely want to have a connection that goes from a storage container to the assembler and no, not the assembler against the refinery without the interference of one of these conveyor belts because it is only filling this refinery from everything that comes through this thing now we in theory don't need this no more we can get rid of it however that would probably destroy this one connection that we have and it's actually what has been well making sure that our base is uh, it's running so pressing these withdraw components from building planner and we did do that hopefully that will get everything done and in theory at least how i hope things will go is it will transfer the ice into the hydrogen engine so small motors and small steel tubes are all that remain so let's get all of this done now i'm aware Build planter is empty, so we need some motors. Oh wait, we actually have everything. Oh cool, I really like this metal mouse button, but I'm not not very confident in using it yet. When, and that's probably why I'm just making so many weird -ass choices. So, will this work? No. Yeah, of course not. And the reason for it, it is hooked on a refinery. I should have thought about this uh, before trying to do this. Let us place the engine on top of here for now. Like this. It might not look pretty, but at least it's functional. And when in desperate times, in desperate times, it, it, it definitely will need desperate measures. Can all of this fit? Oh, damn. That is nice. There we go. Everything is added. Let's make sure this will, uh, this should work. At least we have a lot of ice. So this must work. <laughs> if it doesn't, I don't know what to do. Will you turn green? Hydrogen engine converts hydrogen into power. Ah. Okay, maybe I'm, 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 I'm a doofus. And I think I might know why. But... Oh, damn it. That's going to be annoying. Uh, let's go up. I think we need a hydrogen tank. Or a O2 generator. Oh, that is it! That is it! We need an O2 H... An H2. H2 O generator. Um uses oxygen and hydrogen and this will produce oxygen and hydrogen this is what we need what we will need and we will need to place it somewhere and i am worried that it might have to be connected will it need to be connected <sighs> let's see there is indeed a port like that so let's place it down here So, adds build to the building. There you go. Let's go over here. Let's do the old mouse button. If you would allow me to. Cannot withdraw. Okay, so... Let's add... Things to the queue. They are going to be built up. Which is exactly what we want. Oh man, if this doesn't work, I feel such an idiot. Well... Most likely. <laughs> Don't answer that. Don't 
answer that, please. Um, can we select these off there? I don't know. But we now have three of these bad boys running. And I feel that this might be, you know, the nail in the coffin. Fully recharged in 11 and 13 hours. So it definitely changed quite, quite a bit. Uh, okay, this is all done. So by pressing... There we go. All components have been successfully removed. Uh, and oh, damn it, you idiot! I told you it was going to happen. Uh, what I would like to do eventually is make um, rooms for these. So, are you getting ice? You are getting ice. We need to get that O2 bottle in here. Where are you? That's the oxygen bottle. So are you making hydrogen? Hmm, I think we might need to get you to another location. I'm very sorry about this, guys. This is completely new to me. And I'm only doing this because it was suggested that I would look into a hydrogen engine. So let us place one... On the lower half? No, I'd rather not. I'd rather have it on this side. Um, and I will tidy it up off camera for you. So you don't have to look at things. Also, let us get a hydrogen tank in here. Um, the entrance slot is over there. So this should... Let us just do it like this again. I'm sorry. Uh, I just don't like it on the other end. Let's build this thing up completely. I, I just want to see it working. I might have to turn it on. That could be a possibility as well. Or maybe this is just not suited for these bases. Maybe that's the thing. Let's go control panel and let's do... Hydrogen engine. It is not doing anything. Hmm. It doesn't have an intake. Right? Let's see. No. So, do we actually need a tank? I'm getting to be at a loss. And I desperately need to look this up. Refinery, large base cargo. Refinery, H generator. The last thing that I could think of is getting a tank. And damn, these tanks are massive. They're really big. Let's, uh, let's place one down here somewhere. That's why I'll, uh, I'll experiment a bit. I need steel plates. Yeah, I bet I do. Okay, let's get everything into the hydrogen tank. Into the build planner. Over there. And let's head over to our storage. Whoa. Let's get everything that we have in here. And we don't have a lot of it. So let's add the components. Everything is going to be created. But it's going to take us some time. I wonder how it will go. But we need to get a hydrogen bottle in. Maybe it just needs empty slots. Because, okay, this one is not connected. So we can't get hydrogen from it. Uh, but we have hydrogen bottles. And we have an oxygen bottle. We don't have it with us. So, maybe we'll just get it. We actually are not having with it with us. There we go. It's weird. There we go. And let's get over to the hydrogen. While we wait up for the uh, materials to be built. Could we please be allowed? Thank you. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Look at this. 
It is moving. Whoa, you love this stuff, don't you? Get you in there. Let's get you out. You out. So how much are you generating and why are you doing it now? <laughs> why didn't you do it before I was starting to be an idiot? So going into... Production? No, control panel. Hydrogen engine. It is outputting 2.5 uh, megawatt. And it's not filled. There is a lot of hydrogen in there. But we need a lot more ice. But what is it doing to our batteries? Let's see batteries. Base batteries. Ah, right, there we go. Fully recharged in four hours. So it is actually really helping us out. Cool, I like that. So with all of that done, what we now can do is um, make sure that we get all of these modules in here. Also build up this entire base, which is going to be, well, definitely a lot of work. And we would like to get ourselves a bit of a cargo container going. Like I said, I would like to flip these over. And maybe we can add a large cargo container in this area um, but to do that we would need to build up at least a few uh, of these floor tiles otherwise we are going to be having an issue once we uh, try to weld everything up so let's get all of the steel plates Assembler. Okay, cool. So we have enough steel plates right now, and let's rush down. We need to finish this staircase, and I was welding this all up. Interior plates, let's do some of these blocks. If you would allow me to, I would be absolutely, absolutely fantastic. It would be so nice. Do I not have steel blocks? Oh, I'm a dummy. That was not my inventory. I know some of you already seen that. Let's get you, thank you very much. And with the production done, let's get all of this. Let's get all of the steel. So you, and we're going to be producing a thousand steel plates. That should get me on the way. Man, this is absolutely my favorite thing to do in Space Engineers, just constructing. I really enjoy that. And I know you would like to see me cutting away a lot of stuff, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. You can actually see my base coming together, which is fantastic. Now, like I said, we'll be moving that, so I don't actually care if we lock up over here. Uh, but we'll have to be welding you up before doing anything else. And we can actually use... Well, I was thinking we could use the components of the large um, storage. But we cannot. Because that would be uh, horrible. Also, there is one thing that we need to be doing. And I will be forgetting that. And that is welding up these floor corner pieces. Right over here. Uh, because, well, you know, I can't go in there. Why? Sometimes it doesn't let me weld which is quite annoying and i was hoping that it would be fixed but it probably is me so let's get all of this done come on you ah uh, luckily we have a lot of steel plates coming in i could always be too close come on now yeah, I don't have enough steel plates. That is a, quite a bummer. Let's go over here. Let's get the steel plates out. There we go. 400 will uh, definitely keep... Oh, no! So, come on. This needs to be done. Because that's going to be horrible. 
So we get a new block in here. Just to the side, weld you up. So that should really help out in the later portions where I don't have to grind everything out because I've forgotten to do that. And believe me, I have forgotten, uh, especially when building the base that we are in currently. Oh, there were so many blocks and I'm, I'm betting there is still a bunch of them that I completely missed due to that. So with all of that done, uh, I say we almost have enough room for the staircase going down. Let's do that later. Let's see. I kind of would like to get... Hmm. Well, we know that this will be changed. I would like to go there. If we can make it two blocks out, which is not going to happen due to the stairs. We can probably muffle a conveyor belt in all of those blocks I just made. Yes, I feel like an idiot again. That's just great. Mm. Okay, large. Interior pillar. Oh, cool. That is nice. I like that. Uh, large cargo. Here we go. And I would like to have it over there interior plates of course I do so there is where we will make this hmm. let us just finish the stairways here because otherwise it's just going to be making me insane so stairs and I'll worry about I don't know why I did it with that block but I'll worry about the placement of the engine and i'm thinking this would be a very nice location but i'll i'll need some um i need some of these conveyor tubes and i need a lot of them and i didn't really think this episode through now did i no i did not but that is okay oh there's lights in here are there actual lights they are oh nice i didn't think these were actually were lit up oh that is so cool that is really nice. Like it a lot. Really do. Let's get rid of you. There you go. That should fix this problem. It's it's way easier than I thought it would be. As for you, we could probably just do with a half walk over there. Or like this. It doesn't feel as smooth though. I don't know. Maybe I should place it back. Let's put on our light again. I got my work cut out for me. So I'll think about... I'll end the episode over here. I hope you have enjoyed. And don't forget to smash that like button if you did. And I'll see you next time. And I'm hoping to, um, to start on the modules. And have a bit of a room on where to go with these engines. Because we can actually use the hydrogen for our latest chips with a hydrogen tank i don't know if they will fill up throughout the conveyor system but i'm guessing we could probably test that out with a large hydrogen tank so looking very much forward to that uh, as for now thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed hope to see you next time have a good one bye bye